Hello and welcome. This is Real Numbers video number 11 and today we are going to learn about a special theorem that deals with rational numbers with terminating decimal expansion. Now we know that there are two types of decimal expansions for rational number. So one is terminating and an example of this will be 1.25 let's say. So there are no more numbers subsequent to 25. So here this is the example of term, non, I should say terminating decimal expansion. And a non-terminating example will be, let's say, one point, maybe three, seven, and let's put a bar on three, seven, which simply means that the number three, seven, these digits will continue to repeat. So this video deals with only the first type, which is the terminating decimal expansion. So let's do one thing. Let's randomly write some terminating decimal numbers. So, well, why don't we take the first number that we actually took here? So maybe... 1.25 let's take another one let's say this time maybe 0. Point, uh, maybe 106 and lastly maybe um, maybe something like this 987 987.6 so here this has two digits after decimal here we have three digits and there is one digit so these are all examples of terminating decimal expansions now let's write each one of them as rational numbers so we can simply convert this as 1, 2, 5 divided by, there are two digits after decimal, so there'll be two zeros here. Similarly, the second one will be 1, 0, 6 divided by 1, 0, 0, 0. And the last one will be 9, 8, 7, 6 divided by 10. Now what we're going to do is, for each one of them, let's remove all the common factors. So the first one, we can see that, 5 is a common factor, so this will be 25 by, this will be 2, 0. And again, we have a common factor 5, so we can remove it. We'll get 5 by 4. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to write the denominator in terms of prime factors. So here we can write 4 as simply 2 times 2, right? Now, let's take a look at the second number. So here, again, both numerator and denominator, they're even, so we can divide both of them by 2. So we will get 2 fives are 10, and 2 threes are 6. And similarly here, we will get 2 five zero zero. Now, there are no more common factors, so numerator, we can leave it the way it is, 53. And denominator, we can write this as 5 times, we're trying to write all the common, uh, I should say, prime factors. So 500 is 5 times 100, and 100 is 25 times 4. Or we can write this as 53 by, here we have uh, 2, so 4 is 2 square, so we can write it as 2 square or 2 times 2. And here we can write this as, so 25 is 5 square, so 5 square and 5 is 5 cube. And let's take a look at the last example. So this we can, both numbers, both numbers are even numbers. So we can remove, I guess we can divide both numbers by 2. So for the numerator, if we divide that by 2, we will get 2 fours are 8, 1 8, 2 nines are 18, 7 will come over. So 2 threes are 6, 1 6, 2 eights are 16, divided by 5. And here, the denominator already has five and there are no more common factors. So what we see here is that if we, if you look closely, the denominator only has prime factors two and five, right? Well, you may say in this case, there is no five. Well, we can think of this as five power zero, right? Second one has two and five. And the last one does not have two, but we can think of as two to the power zero. Now, this may look strange, but there are infinite decimal expansions. I should say there are infinite numbers that have a terminating decimal expansion. So you can pick any number, any decimal number. And what you will do is when you write it in the form of a rational number P by Q, the Q, the denominator, will always look something like this. So the numerator can be anything, but the denominator always will have only prime factors 2 and 5, and they will be raised to the power, let's call it maybe A and B, where A and B 
a can be a non negative integer meaning it can be 0 or 1 2 3 4 and same is true for b so no matter what kind of decimal number we pick as long as it is a terminating decimal number the denominator will always be of this form and this indeed is the theorem so the theorem says that if x is any rational number whose decimal expansion terminates that means our rational number has a terminating decimal expansion if that is true then if we if we simplify p and q so that they are co-prime meaning that they have no more common factors other than one then the prime factorization of q can be written in the form of 2 to the power m times 5 to the power m where m and n are non-negative integers i would strongly recommend and encourage you to try this at home with any decimal number of your choice and see if indeed this is true or not and you will notice this always 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 happens like this.